Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa application of sequences. So, magkasama natin i-deal si arithmetic and geometric sequence. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button, auto like na guys. At syempre, kung bago pa lang kayo sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin nyo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na na like, na subscribe at na hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for your learning task number one, write the letter before the number. The letters will spell out the Kimmer greeting. Okay, so ako hindi ko na nilagyan ng choices to ha. Ituturo ko lang sa inyo kung paano ba isolve or ideal yung ganyang klase ng questions. Okay, tapos pag napili nyo na yung mga sagot ninyo, yun, mabubuo nyo na yung greetings. Masasagutan nyo na yung hinahanap dito. Okay, so let's have number one. What is the fifth term of the arithmetic sequence A sub N is equal to 7N plus 1? So, eto madaling-madali lang tong questions na to. Pag ganito yung mga tanong, mga anak, substitute lang to ha. So, your N here, di ba yung N is the number of terms? Dahil fifth term ang hinahanap natin, uh, it follows ng na ang ating n ay 5. O, so, substitute lang. a sub 5, so, in, in, sorry, instead na n, 5 na siya. Equals to 7 times 5. So, yung n mo, papalitan na rin ng 5 plus 1. And then, 7 times 5 is 35 plus 1. So, 35 plus 1 is 36. So, a sub 5 is 36. So, yung fifth term nyo, fifth term is 36. O, ganun lang yun, substitute lang. For number 2, what is the next uh, six terms of the Fibonacci sequence? Uh, so, paano ba natin ito gagawin? Ano ba yung Fibonacci sequence na yan? So, we have here 0. Wait lang. So, we have 0. And then 1, and then 1. So, paano ba natin siya kinuha? When we add 0 plus 1, makukuha natin itong 1 na to. Okay? So, 0 plus 1, you have 1. Okay? Na 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, you will have 2. So, yung next dito ay 2. And then, dahil 2 na yan, add, ah, no, sorry, dahil ang kasunod na ay 1 and 2, we add 1 plus 2, And that is 3. So, ang susunod na dito ay 3. Then, i-add naman natin sila 2 plus 3. And that is 5. So, ang next dito ay 5. Ilan na nadagdag ko? Isa, dalawa, tatlo. Oh, what is next? A 5. No, sorry. 3 pala muna. 3. Ito, yung bago mag 5. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So, we have here 8. And then... 5 plus 8 is how many is 13. So, we have here 13. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito, hindi man na nadagdag ko. O, dagdagan pa natin ang isa. So, we have here uh, 8 plus 13. What is 8 plus 13? Uh, 20. Ilan to? 21? 21 ba? 8, 9, 10, 11, 21. And then, we have here 21. O, kung gusto nyo pang malaman, ang i-add nyo naman si 13 and 21. And then, tuloy-tuloy pa yan. Okay? So, that's how we identify the next terms. Now, what are the missing numbers in the sequence 3? Blank, 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 48. So, kung mapapansin natin, given tayo ng A1 ng... A sub N, at alam natin kung ilang terms, pero hindi natin alam kung ano ang ating D. So, paano natin siya gagawin? No, enter ko lang siya, ha? Ganito nyo isosolve yan using the formula. Wait lang for a while, mga anak ko. Okay, oh, let's try to have this one. Aha, ang A sub N natin, teka, oh, we will use the formula a sub n, kasi kung mapapansin ninyo, palaki siya eh, parang ito ay 
uh, geometric sequence. So, we will have a sub n and then a sub 1 r times r n raised to 1. And alam naman natin, ang a sub n natin ay 48. Ang a sub 1 natin ay uh, ano, 3. At ang n natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Okay, let's try to substitute. So, 48 is equal to, uh, no, hindi pala to a sub n dahil alam natin yung terms. a sub 5 to. Ayan, teka, lagay ko na lang. Ah, a sub n pa rin pala yun. Sorry. Ayan, so we have a sub n kasi formula to. So, we have your a sub 5. Okay, anong a sub 1 natin? That's 3. Ang r natin is missing. So, times r. Ang n natin ay 5 minus 1. Okay, so para r5 r minus 1 lang mapunta dito, i-divide natin to by 3, ha? Para ma-cancel. So, 48 divided by 3 is how many? Correct, that's 16. Equals to r raised to 5 minus 1. That's a 4. Okay, ngayon si 16, uh, isipan natin siya ng base na dapat ang kanyang exponent ay 4. Okay, so pwede siyang uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So, ibig sabihin, 16 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 raised to 4. So, you will have here 2 raised to 4 equals to r raised to 4. So, dahil pareho na sila, we can say that r r is equal to 2. So, ibig sabihin, ang common ratio nila ay 2. Paano natin i-identify to? 3 times 2, you have 6. 6 times 2, you have 12. 12 times 2, you have 24. And then, 24 times 2, you have 48. And that's it. Okay, now, what is the common ratio of the given? O, ano daw common ratio nito? I-divide, no? 48 divided by uh, negative 24. That's negative 2, right? Ah, uh, ha, 24 divided by, hindi ko ata ito na bago. Ay, nagka-bonus kayo dito, ha. Negative 24 divided by 12, that's negative 2 also. 16 divided by negative 6, ah, 12 divided by negative 6, it's, is negative 2. And negative 6 divided by 3 is also negative 2. Ay, nakabonus ng number 4. Okay, so we have that. Okay, now for number 5, teka, i-check ko. So, ayan, binago ko na, ha? Baka makabonus na naman kayo. Okay, so what is the 15th term of the arithmetic sequence? A sub n is equal to 2 sub, 2n, sorry, minus 5. So, obviously, eto, substitute lang natin kasi ang n natin dito ay 15. So, you have a sub 15 is equal to 2 times 15, ha? Kasi yung n mo, 15 na siya, minus 5. So, 2 times 15 is 30 minus 5. You have 25. So, A sub 15 is 25. Or the 15th term is 25. Okay, for number 6, if A sub 1 is equal to 4 and D is equal to negative 3, then what is A sub 12. Okay? So, pang 12 term ang hinahanap natin. Okay? So, having that, yung formula natin will be A sub N. Yung pa rin, yung arithmetic sequence natin. Is equal to A sub 1 and then N minus 1 D. So, ang A sub N natin ang nawawala. Ang N natin ay 12. Ang A sub 1 natin ay 4. At ang common difference natin ay negative 3. Sa substitute lang natin siya, ha? So, we have here a sub 1, 4, n is 12 minus 1, and then ang d natin is negative 3. So, 4 times, what is 12 minus 1? That's 11 times negative 3. Ay, teka, sorry. May plus 2, ha? Nakakalimutan na ni Teacher Maria. O, yan. So, uh, 11 times negative 3, that's negative 33. Okay, 4 plus negative 33, that is negative 29. Okay, so your A sub 12 is negative 29. 
Okay? Formula lang ang gagamitin dyan. Now, what is the common ratio given the sequence? 2,500 and 125. Okay. Ano ang common ratio nila? Eh, di divide natin para malaman natin, ha? O, sige. Paano natin gagawin yan? So, we have here 125 over 500. So, divisible siya by 125. 125. So, this is 1. 500 divided by 125. That is 4. So, 1 fourth. How about 500 over to 2,000? So, divisible siya by 500, by 500. So, this is 1, 2,000 divided by 500, you have 4. So, ibig, sa ibig sabihin, ang common ratio dito, ang R natin ay 1 fourth. Okay? 1 fourth siya. Fraction siya kasi kung mapapansin nyo, pababa yung number natin, di ba? Hindi siya pwedeng maging 4 kasi hindi naman siya lumalaki. So, dahil pababa siya, nadidivide siya by 4. So, our ratio is 1 over 4. What is the 8th term of the sequence? Negative 12, negative 9, negative 6, negative 3. So, gagamitin pa rin natin yung formula na a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1d. Pero identify muna natin ano yung d. So, negative 3 minus negative 6. So, we have here kcc. We have plus plus. So, this is 3. Pag naman negative 6 minus negative 9, KCC plus plus, you have 3 again. When we have negative 9 minus negative 12, so KCC ulit, we have here 3. So, our D here is 3. So, our A sub 1 is equal to negative 12. Our A sub N is missing. Our N is 8. And our D is equal to 3. Let's solve. So, we have A sub 8 is equal to, what's this? Negative 12 plus N minus 1. So, 8 minus 1 times 3. O, 3 yung D natin, ha? Teka nga, enter ko nga. Nabiliitan ako sa space natin. Okay, so we have here now, negative 12 plus, this is 7 times 3. Oh, what is 7 times 3? That's 21. So, negative 12 plus 21. Oh, ilan ngayon to? Kung 20 ito, di 8. So, 9. 9 ang answer natin. So, A sub N or A sub 8 or yung 8 term natin ay 9. Okay? Tapos yan, kung nabuo nyo na, kung nakuha nyo na lahat ng sagot dyan, mabubuo nyo na tong word na to, ha? Pero dahil wala nga tayong binuo dito sa sample ko na to, kayo nang bahala dyan. Okay? Ngayon, kung natutunan nyo ang video na ito, sana auto-comment din, katulad ng auto-like, ha? Mga anak, help me up this video by writing a comment. Kahit smile, Okay na sa akin. Thank you or yung message ninyo. And please, don't forget to follow our Facebook page, Love Math TV. Pakivisit naman tong page natin. Sige na. Okay? At huwag kalimutang i-share sa mga classmates kasi baka mamaya nababaliw na yung mga yan. Di nila alam. Meron palang explanation kung paano nila makukuha yan. Okay? At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!